Hello guys, this is Tash Fake. I am Android developer and Bangladeshi freelancer. In my previous tutorial, I showed you how to save your Android data in the external server. And in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to get those data from external server to your Android app. And for this, first of all, you have to create a database which I have showed in the previous tutorial. Simply create a database or use that database and then create a table and create rows like I have created a head description and I have also given some demo data like test 1, test 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then it is very simple like the previous one no problem with that but the new thing is we have to create a new PHP file and it's not like the previous one and this PHP code is like uh, simply just you can just copy this and change the database name and username and the password of the database and give your database name here and give your table name here I have shared all the source code and PHP files in the description you can get from there and then so what you have to do you have to just change the host name username password and database name and the table name that's all and then upload the php file in the server and i have given uh, uploaded here like if we open this you will see all the data they're coming from the database so now copy this link and our server task is done we don't have to work anything in the server now let's go to the android studio so here we have created on method async task method you can just copy this method and change the link here you will see a link in here and then what you have to change we are getting data from here here I have written head head means in the database there is a row name head so if we put their head we will get all the data from this row and this line will return us the data and we are saving all the data in a one string like this data equal to data plus and then in the post method we are just showing in the uh, text field okay you can do one thing you can use this data in the you can save this data in a list or whatever you want you can do this is the method to get those data right okay now we have to call this async task from the on create the calling system is you know the async task new data dot execute execute okay now if we run this code you will see see test one test two test three test four so it's up to you how you want, want to use it I'm just showing this uh, in line you can just put new line or you can save all the data in the list to use it later or in the local database SQLite database to use this later see there in line so this is how to say uh, how to get the data from the external server and our previous tutorial was how to save data in the external server so this two tutorial will help you to make the connection between the server and your android app so that's all you can get all the source code from the description and subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends if you want to help them 
ओके दैट्स इट थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग बाई